Sykes. The best are right on the ball for Lord Mayor. City of Adelaide Council meeting on Tuesday, 25th of September 2018. The Lord Mayor is in the chair. This council meeting will be streamed live and recorded for publishing to the internet. Please note that an audio and visual recording is being taken of this meeting. This means that your presence at and any contribution you make to the meeting may be collected, used, disclosed or published publicly by the council, including transferring outside of Australia. The red light to my right indicates that the meeting is being filmed and streamed. Council acknowledges that we are meeting on the traditional country of the Ghana people of the Adelaide Plains and pays respect to elders past and present. We recognise and respect their cultural heritage, beliefs and relationship to the land. We acknowledge that they are of importance to the continuing importance of the Ghana people living today. We also extend that respect to other Aboriginal first language groups and other First Nations who are present today. The Council acknowledges the vision of Colonel William Light in determining the site for Adelaide and the design of the city with the six squares and surrounding belt of continuous parklands, which is recognised on the National Heritage List as one of the greatest examples of Australia's planning heritage. Let us pray. Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon the works of the City of Adelaide. Direct and prosper its deliberations to the advancement of your glory and the true welfare of the people of this city. Amen. Will all present remain standing in silence in memory of those who gave their lives in defence of their country at sea, on land and in the air. Thank you, members. Thank you, CEO. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Members, thank you and uh, welcome to the meeting of Tuesday the 25th of September 2018. Uh, members, item five, which is our apologies and leave of absence. We have three members who are not with us this evening, which is Councillor Hender, Councillor Milani and Councillor Antic. So members, I'll take you straight to item six, which is to confirm the minutes of two previous meetings, the first held on the 11th of September and the second held on the 15th of September. Moved by Councillor Martin and seconded by Councillor Slama. No questions about the minutes. I'll put that straight before you. Those in favour, those against. We carry the minutes for both meetings. Thank you, members. Members, we don't have any public forums or deputations and nor do we have any petitions. So I'll take you straight along to item nine on your agenda, which is the advice from the Adelaide Parklands Authority from a meeting held on the 20th of September 2018. There are two pieces of advice to note. So members, in absence of any questions about those, I'll look for a move at Councillor Moran, seconded by Councillor Wilkinson. Members, I put this matter before you to carry. Those in favour, those against, we carry item 9.1. Thank you, members. Members, item 10, which is the Lord Mayor's verbal report for today. Members, and can I thank uh, those that also attended. We recently, I represented the City of Adelaide in signing a strategic partnerships memorandum of understanding with the City of Port Adelaide Enfield to leverage the opportunities of defence and tourism industries. I also hosted the Business Alliance dinner in partnership with the Don Dunstan Foundation, as well as the Lord Mayor's Industry Association Forum and the Lord Mayor's Business Roundtable. 
I recently met with Dame Louise Casey from the Institute of Global Homelessness and Dr Noni Brennan from All Chicago as part of Council's partnership with the Don Dunstan Foundation on the Adelaide Zero Project. I also hosted the end of term function where we celebrated the many successes of this term of Council and also we hosted the September Citizenship Ceremony here in the Council Chamber. I met with the Ambassador of Korea, Mr Lee Baksoon, a delegation from the High Commission of Malaysia to Australia and representatives from the Commonwealth Games Federation and Commonwealth Games Australia. I spoke at the unveiling of the Sala installation of a public artwork called Cornucopia at the Kota offices on Hutt Street, which received a Council Public Art Grant. I also spoke at the St Ignatius College Foundation breakfast at the Hilton Hotel, the 19th National Tree Symposium, the Beta Birdwood launch event, Apex plaque unveiling in Park 19, Adelaide Bowling Club Open Day, City Debate Fun Run and the launch of the Unmasked Africa Festival in Victoria Square. Also took part in the annual Mayor's Selling the Big Issue event in Rundle Mall, where I worked with local vendor Ruth. I attended the Capital City Committee, North Adelaide Precinct Association AGM, Goodger Street Traders Association Meeting, SA Business Index Luncheon, Heart Foundation Ball, the City of Prospect Mayor's Annual Dinner, and the Land Forces Welcome Breakfast at the Adelaide Convention Centre. Also attended the State Budget Luncheon, the Battle of Britain Commemorative Service, 38th South Australian Prayer Breakfast, and the United Nations International Day of Peace Service at St Peter's Cathedral. Lady Maris and I attended the Feast Festival program launch, the Adelaide Rep Theatre opening night of their performance of Rules for Living, the 69th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China and the Dame Roma Mitchell Garden Party for the Adelaide Day Centre for the 21st celebration of that garden. Lady Marius participated in the Daffodil Day Cancer Council event, the Adelaide University Rotaract Club Charity Fundraiser, Cultural Night 2018 and the 2018 Royal Show Ladies Brunch. In addition, the Lady Marius hosted a town hall tour and tea for the prize winners of Amicus, which the event patron sorry, was the event patron and welcome guests at the inaugural United Nations Association of South Australia Young Professionals Meeting and was successful in raising over $2,000 for the Mary Potter Foundation, organising a movie and fundraising evening in the East End. Lady Marius also concluded the Her Story project with a final presentation on the Lady Marius's opal and chain and announced the winner of a donated opal from a City of Adelaide business. The Lady Marius laid wreaths at a service to commemorate unveiling of the Australian Soldiers Dardanelle Cenotaph for Veterans SA, the War Widows Guild and the Turkish Association of South Australia and for the Peacekeeping Commemorative Service. Finally, the Lady Marius has been invited to speak on her experiences of the role at the Rotary Club of Adelaide lunch next week. Members, can I ask for a member to move that report, moved by Councillor Clarehan, seconded by Councillor Abiyad. I'll put that before you. Those in favour, those against, we carry. Thank you very much, members. And we go to councillors' reports. Item 11. Do any councillors prior to me asking for a mover wish to speak to their report? I'll ask one of the councillors to move the report in that case, moved by Councillor Slama, seconded by Councillor Wilkinson. I'll put that before you. Those in favour, those against, we carry item 11. Thank you very much, members. Item 12.1. Uh, this is the advice from APLA, which has come to you as a separate item on your council agenda. Uh, members, you have a motion to endorse, note and approve. Councillor Moran, you are moving as printed. Councillor Wilkinson, you are seconding as printed. Councillor Moran, do you wish to speak to this matter? Uh, no, straightforward. Councillor Wilkinson, members, any debate? Councillor Moran, summing up? Summed up. Members, I put 12.1 before you. Those in favour? Those against? We carry. Members, progress and motions by elected members, page 14. A report to note. I look to you for a mover. This is item 12.2, moved by Councillor Clarehan, seconded by Councillor Moran. Councillor Clarehan, do you wish to speak to this panel? Just to say, Lord Mayor, that I've, um, I've noted that one of my motions regarding the installation of uh, iPad and iPhone recharging stations 
has seemed to have dropped off the list. I understand there is some progress being made, but I think it needs to be re-added to the list. Thank you. CEO, will you take that as a comment? Take that on board and we'll, we'll respond. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Moran, you seconded. Members, any debate? Summing up, Councillor Clarehan. Thank you, Councillor. Members, I put this matter before you. Those in favour, those against, we carry item 12.2. Members, item 12.3, which is the election of LGA president, um, you've got a recommendation for you to note and to authorise. I will do this in two parts, if I may, members. I'll look to you first for a procedural motion, and then I will look to you to put forth a name uh, who you believe uh, would uh, represent the LGA ably. So for the procedural motion, moved by Councillor Aviad, seconded by Councillor Slama. I'll put the procedural motion before you first, members. Those in favour? Those against? We carry the procedural motion. Members, I now look to you, Councillor Aviad. You are? Um, Lord Mayor, I nominate Mayor um, Sam Joel Teffler from District of Council of Tombe Bay. Okay, so Councillor Aviad, I'll just hold that for one minute. Councillor Clarehan, you are? Lord Mayor, um, as President of the Local Government Association, I declare a perceived conflict of interest. I work with most of these people. Uh, a number of them are um, Vice Presidents of the Local Government Association and all with the exception of one are members of the board. So I will listen, but I won't participate or vote. Um, in the discussion. Thank you for advising your fellow elected members, Councillor. Councillor Abia, back to you, sir. I to move, uh, Lord Mayor, would you like me to repeat? Okay, so you are putting forth uh, 2 .1. Mayor Sam, Samuel Joel Telfer. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Okay, so members, do I have any further nominations with regards to this? Councillor, um, Deputy Lord Mayor, for sure. Well, thank you, Lord Mayor. I'd like to um, nominate Mayor Anne Ferguson, uh, 2.4, from Mount Barker. Okay. Members, do I have any further nominations? I don't, so I presume this will mean a ballot. That's correct. So, members, there will be a ballot because we're putting forth one. You have two to put your ballot papers for, either 2.1 being Mayor Sam Joel Telfer or 2.4 Mayor Anne Shirley Ferguson. Man Pardon, Councillor? A man or a woman. Correct. That's, that is entirely correct, <laughs> Councillor. <laughs> Extremely observant, <laughs> <laughs> sir. So, members, you can only nominate one, so you are now casting a ballot and uh, on both. So, members, just tick one box, please. Thank you. 
Members, the successful nominee in this instance, which will be put forth by myself on behalf of Council to the Local Government Association, is Mayor Anne Ferguson from Mount Barker. So, could I have a motion, please, to that end? Moved by Councillor Martin, seconded by the Deputy Lord Mayor. I put this before you, members. Those in favour? Sorry, members, I just need to see your hands. Those against? Motion carried. Thank you. Members, 12.4, uh, which is the Local Government Finance Authority, a AGM and Board election, you've got a uh, uh, recommendation to note and to authorise. Members, I'll, for procedural ease, I'll do this in two parts. The, this matter, you might recall, members, has come before us previously where I believe that a elected member was asked whether uh, an elected member would like to play a role in this. Uh, the of members chose not to. Uh, our director, Steve Mathewson, will be ably representing, or will certainly be putting forward Steve Mathewson to ably represent City Council on the LGFA. So what I'll do is I'll put this in two parts to you. The first part will be one parts one, two, three, and four. Uh, and then we will then separately address, we need to have another candidate of which you have one of eight to choose from. Uh, and then when you choose, I then in part six will fill out a ballot paper after this meeting to proceed with us. So members, if I could have a mover please to do this in parts for parts one to four for council to put forward Steve Matthewson. Moved by Councillor Clarehan, seconded by Councillor Corbell Moore. Do I have any debate about that members? I don't, so I'll put that part before you now. Those in favour? Those against? Councillor Wilkinson, are you voting? Yes. You are? You are voting for? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay, so members, we then carry. The second part is now for part five and six, where members, I will need for a member to call out the name of one of the um, uh, persons noted from point 5.1 to 5.8, which effectively would provide an approval for a vote, which I would then put forward on your behalf. So, Councillor Martin, you had your hand up first, you are? Um, yeah. And it's Martin, of course. No relation, Councillor? <laughs> uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Right. <laughs> okay, members, do I have any additional? I don't, so that is the only one. So, I'm, I need a seconder for that, please. Seconded by Councillor Wilkinson. No debate, so I'll put that directly for the vote members. Those in favour, those against. And we carry the second part of that matter, which is parts five and part six. Thank you, members. CEO, we have no emerging key risks. So we move on to item 13, which is questions on notice of which we have none registered. We have questions without notice, members. Do I have any? Oh, we want to. Uh, within limited capacity during caretaker for questions without notice and motions without notice, very limited capacity. So I don't see any hands, so I will proceed. 
Motions on notice, which is item 15, we don't have any registered. So I take you to motions without notice. And I don't see any hands, so I'll keep moving. Members, we have two matters to contemplate in confidence, which is 18.1.1 and 18.2.1. But first of all, in item 17, I need motions to exclude. So members, for the first of those, for the absolute advice, can I please have a mover? Moved by Councillor Slama, seconded by Deputy Lord Mayor Vershaw. No debate. I'll put that before you, members. Those in favour of moving that item into confidence, those against, we carry. The second is to discuss an expression of interest result from Mary Lee Park. Can I have a mover, please, members? Deputy Lord Mayor Vershaw, seconded by Councillor Slana. No debate. I'll put this matter before you. Those in favour of moving that item into confidence, those against. Councillor Martin's waving at me. I so it is carried. Uh, so members, ladies and gentlemen, for any members who are, any persons who are not directly associated with these matters, can I ask you to leave the chamber and we'll put this meeting into confidence.
uh, this meeting is quite extraordinarily finished. So we are now back in public. Are we recording, Jenny? It could be a record, Councillor Wilkinson. We've got one more meeting to even beat the record again. We've got two. I think we've got one more council meeting, CEO. But given that we're still taking minutes and I'm rambling on, let us close this meeting, shall we, CEO? So members, can I thank you for your participation, CEO? Thank you to your team. Thank you to your directors, your wonderful directors, CEO. All of your team who are with us this evening. To Ed, who did a terrific job. Can I say, can I close the meeting at 6.35 p.m.? Thank you, members. Thank <laughs> you.